Good morning. I'm Michael Green, the Counter Jockey. This is Morning Gaming. And to carry on from the week off from Morning Gaming, I'm going to continue playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Nintendo Switch. As much as I hate to say it, Kyle, you're probably right. <sighs> Fine. Play the music. Jimmy doesn't get cookies cause he's been bad And now he's grounded to his room and he feels sad Jimmy's daddy is downstairs and he's real mad Because Jimmy's normally been a real good lad! Good morning. I'm Michael Green, the Counter Jockey. This is Morning Gaming, episode 76. And this time I actually have the audio recording. So, this is my. <coughs> Pardon. This is my fourth time attempting to record this episode. I could have just taken all the attempts and made those all the episodes for this week. Yep. Well. We're back with the adventures of Randolph. Randolph is an Argonian. He has come to Skyrim for some reason. We need a backstory. Which will help inform our actions. Having had a couple attempts at starting this episode... I've realized a couple problems with our characteristics so far. The way I've played Randolph, he's a bit hectic. And I think what might be a good direction is... Maybe Randolph just... Is a jerk. Maybe Randolph is an asshole. And that is his character. Like, dude... The reason why... Oh, <sighs> Pardon me. Uh, maybe the reason why he just, like, randomly killed that white guy on the road is that's how he deals with a lot of things. Right? Like, maybe he is just a violent asshole who kind of just passively justifies his actions. So, like, that one guy was being an uppity jerk, so he killed him. Uh, those one guys were Imperials, so he killed them. That's who Randolph is. He is... just... that smarmy jerk who can't stand anybody and just like, it'd be better off if they were old, dude. But like... with gumption, I guess. This is the guy that's just like, you know what? Screw you. It benefits me to kill you. What I'm saying is, we're playing an Argonian sociopath. I think that there's a good... Fuck you, wolves. Something that is going to be true to the core of his character. Randolph hates wolves. Which is why he is not going to be big fans of werewolves. If an organization gives him the option to hunt them down, he is going to join that organization. Hint. Hint. But yeah. Knowing that, you know, that kind of helps cement what direction this character is going to take. Like... 
I was debating whether or not to have him work with the Daedra or not. I have a feeling that's definitely his jam. Because Daedra are... Like people who reward you for I'm killing. I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. Hey, that's what I'm doing. Careful on the road, friend. These are dangerous times. I'm actually kind of surprised. The last two times I rode through here, there were Vigilance of Stendar fighting a fledgling vampire. And I don't know if I... Like, I don't know exactly what I did different to sequence break that. Which is what I like about a good open world game. Where it's just like, hmm. Turns out, time travel and foreknowledge, not always perfect. I may have roots in Cyrodiil, but Skyrim's as much my home as any roads. Fair enough, fair enough. You know what's on this road? Fucking wolves. Yep. Guess what, wolves? Eat my shit. I'm not dealing with you. Just, just not dealing with you. So, question. I found this horse. I didn't steal it, I found it. If I leave it here, is it gonna still be there when I come out? I'm gonna move, change the... I'm gonna stop talking to the display and keep talking to you guys. Uh, hor horse. I think my horse is fucking off back to where he came from. I think we were given a blessing by a horse god. That's the only way I can justify what's happened here. We find a random horse, and it's just like. There he goes. He was a good horse. So. As you can see, I got a new... Sorry. Brought back the, the pop shield to try and cut down on spikes in the audio. And I set up the camera to where you should be able to see Kyle over here. Kyle was getting mad about having to sit way in the back. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. And who's going to stop him? Make will have no part of that. Huh. Interesting. Well, if I ever I feel like the storm cloaks aren't giving me enough opportunity to murder people. I guess you I could go try and talk to the Dark blue, Brotherhood. Eh, yeah, whatever. You guys arguing. I would get involved with that conversation, no but I can't conclude it the way that I would want to as Randolph. Because Randolph would listen to uh, Rolf talk about uh, acting out violence on that lady and would follow that guy into an alley and stab him a whole lot of times. Oh, give us a straight answer. Everything's all right. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. She knows that. They all know that. There's a lot of plot and posturing going on going here, wait? and it's just... Do you think I need to send Borgroth a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet... Okay, I'm gonna Taking just go ahead and tell you the subtext of this text. Would make a more so, statement, don't you Ulfric so we're ready to keeps start this Galmer around, around because Galmer is so, an idologue and is I violent, and so Ulfric can ask him questions that he already knows how Galmer is going to respond. And then... 
We're ready when use you are. that as support for his own stuff. He's a sounding box. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not, the people are behind you. Next. I'm gonna interrupt their talk. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a yarl without some. He ends up pontificating. Do I know you? Uh, yeah, you know me as a Helgen. Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. Same as you, bitch. Got to be smart with me. But I did help your boy Rolf. Roll off. Roll off. Alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man, but he hasn't returned yet, so I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. And let them die with them. Hmm. You're Helgen, eh? hiring me to kill your Over enemies, told right? Us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. But first, tell me, why is a lizard want to fight for Skyrim? I don't know. Why is a giant bag of shit wearing a bear carcass on his head? Ah, I want to fight the Empire. Uh, can't fault anyone for that. As long as you hate the Empire as much as I do, that I can work with. I'm a lizard guy. You don't begin to understand how much I hate the Empire. All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. Okay. The what kind, kind of test? men use to measure themselves. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. What's that Serpentstone Island? It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's metal. a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. We'll see Sounds about like that. I killed an ice wraith. Here, take this. You'll need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of it. And he continues to pontificate about why his cause is noble. I'm just gonna eat a whole bunch of stuff and figure out what it does to me. I have a deer antlers downstairs. I could run and grab one and bring it up, but why? You know that you can't eat these. Squirrels can. Yes, Kyle has been helpful to point out, but I guess maybe if I have powerful crocodile jaws, but still, you'd risk uh, choking on the, the fragments. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families. To well. We are officially on our way to becoming Stormcloaks. I do feel like there's. You wear that Stormcloak armor well, friend. Yeah, no. I put a. I, I originally said that Randolph didn't like sneaking. I think it's not his preferred method of fighting. I think just I'll come back. It's free stuff to sell anyway. First, let's sleep for the night and then deal with a bunch of things. But yeah, no, I think Randolph is gonna slowly shift opinions on stealth because it's useful. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Uh, what might a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Sweet. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Is it this one? Where I just went to the bed? And where I just slept for eight hours? 
Oh, I'm so glad you showed me where the room was. I know, I know. That's there for if you've you know, if you don't know exactly where it is. Goodbye. I still can't believe Isabel. Now more than ever, the world needs tales of heroism. Cute, whatever. I get it, you're a three dimensional person trying to live in the world, but they say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered. Did you? No. Everyone said I didn't take a look. I am trying to roleplay somebody who doesn't care about NPCs' lives. Not at all. Oh my god, I got some Imperial shit for you. All the iron daggers, just all of them. Axe or mace? I kind of like using the, the dagger as my one-handed weapon, because it's so fast, but... Yeah. It does make a lot of sense. So here's a big question. Iron arrows and steel arrows. There's not a lot of damage difference. But you can sell steel arrows. I'm not going to be doing a lot of ranged combat, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell these. Okay. Really? Fur shoes that have better rating than fur boots. Okay, keeping those bracers. I'm working for the storm cloaks, but I won't wear imperial armor. But there's nothing to say that I won't wear better armor if it comes along. Cause I mean that's just this is a bad strategy. Whether it's armor you need or... What do we got here? Magicka regenerates faster. Hide bracers for armor. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that. Oh, Yes. Oh, did I? Okay, I wear my dagger. Mention it, I think. Sorry about that. Hey, got. Hey, does anyone know where the woman who runs like the most useful shop here in town is? The. Stay out of trouble, Argonian. Follow the procession of NPCs as they move to their appointed locations in town. Freaking traffic, man. Bad this morning. I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? Friend Brunwald, I'll see you. The townsfolk call me captain because I, I travel to more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? That's not necessary. If you're looking to get a drink, I candle her whole I lost my family years Oh my god, I really can't. Yes. I don't really know what keeps me It was difficult. But in the dark elves are too proud in that. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Game wouldn't let me move on until I did that. It's a bit of butthead game. I don't think I'm going to buy armor just yet. I think I'm going to be okay with just taking what I can loot off of the corpses of my enemy. Enemies. I have many enemies. Not really feeling stacking magic. My whole goal on this playthrough is I, I want a game where I actually stab people more often. Here, file this food for me. stuff why not that's how much I'm committing to going the path of I could sell this Daedra heart I think I'm going to 
The rest of this stuff, I think I should do a little bit of alchemy later. So I'll wait. Thank you for your custom. I'm not looking for special treatment, Doc. All I did was. Okay, what do I got? Uh, cleared out all my extra extraneous shit. My extraneous shit. Doing good there. Should probably do something with that. Okay. What? Oh, that's the key to the house. I know he's already forgotten the conversation. I wouldn't get your. I think you can just use the table in the white file while they argue. Master, you're far too old for this journey. We don't know what's inside. <coughs> I'll. I can. <laughs> Hooray! What do we got here? Linder moth? Nothing? Okay. You see, you're not well. Have a I'm pretty sure none of the mountain flowers work together. No. If there They're meant to be top just a uh that could help me. a generic ingredient I to mix with a lot of other stuff. Turns out them both being blue was important. Oh, I already did that one. Whoops. Let's go through. And salt is a mix with anything because salt has like the weirdest set of properties. Did that? No, I got another one. There's probably somebody out there that's just like, oh my god, why would you do it this way? Ah, oh, you could just look it up. I'm like, no. No. My character does not have the internet. How would he look it up? Okay, yeah, that didn't work. How about you? No, okay. How did I miss one with the purple mountain flower? That's bad on me. But it's why you go back through and you you look and see what matches up here. Okay, what do I want to make a thing of? Do I only have one thing that has restore health? Shoot. Okay. Ravage magic, uh, resist magic. That might be useful to have. 4%. Okay, so not really. What can I mix with this, which I have a bunch of? Is the answer what you have for sale ah, and how much money so you can give me for my potions? Because <laughs> that's the answer I'm looking for. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Drain the turn. Four points per second for so forty, but it gives them stamina. That's weird. I will keep those for if like a really stressful fight comes along. And Goodbye. In. I'm so. 
close to the edge. I don't care. You didn't have to follow me outside. I don't. I don't. I honestly don't care. Wait a second. Really? A wood chopping block this close to them? So let me tell you why this is a weird setup for me. If you have a woodcutter's axe, you can stand here and basically convert time into money. You can actually stand at that block with an axe and just cut wood. And that just do that forever. And I I think it's just a way that you can never truly be broke in the game. Like, you could actively work on getting money. It is a bit nuts. Man, we look rad. It's those piercing blue eyes. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament. That's neat. Maybe the kid will pay me for uh, whoever he's trying Please, to kill. How long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Die! Oh, die! Because desperate people will pay you a lot of sweet money. Mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of your world must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of your world must be baptized in blood and fear. Stop freaking out that I'm here. Sweet mother, sweet so maybe this, mother, this send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, hey. send your child unto me for the sins You tell me when you were extremely hungry, you never tried human meat? Th that's in game, not me as Bro, a person. You old prone. You'll Doing this in deserve. character is confusing. Finally, my prayers have been answered. It worked. I knew you'd come. I just knew it. I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. You don't have to say anything. There's no need. You're here, so I know you'll accept my contract. My mother, she... She died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the Kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grelob the Kind! Okay. Sorry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Okay. Let's go, let's go deal with some shit. So he wants me to kill some, where down here? Okay. That moment when you realize that there's a lot of space in this map. Something that uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild does really well is like it it has di that kind of distance between places, but moving around is so freaking fun. Like it, a Zelda game has done something I never thought I'd have to say. It's made playing Skyrim feel really Horses. slow and dull. All day long. Do you have any idea how 
dull horses are. Fair. But yeah, it's made playing Skyrim feel slow and boring. Because just be able to like climb up anything like this wall climb it and then just get to the top and jump off and pop the glider and glide fantastic gameplay oh pardon me was I in your way can't believe Horse just walked away like he did. I hope someday we'll get to know each other better. It's for sale if you've got the coin. A thousand gold for a horse. We need one, right? Like, it's a long road to hoe on foot. That's your best offer? I suppose so. She's the one with the saddle. It's a thousand gold, asshole. Sometimes the difference between life and death is a swift steed. Like, you realize you can go buy a weapon, a forged item that took for like 70 fucking. You know, just fuck you, man. Can. Uh, no. What's the button to rotate? There we go. Can't rotate it all the way, but I can kind of get an idea. I think I want to take this path up. So let's aim for there. Because... I I don't know if you've noticed, I'm a lizard. And the Stormcloak guy would told me to go north up into that bit where it's just always white and cold. So... I'm gonna make a detour and help out this kid. Uh, it's summertime. Like, it's not actually summertime, it's April, but it's getting there. The reason I say that? It's New Hampshire, and it's 80 outside. Now, the temperature's gonna drop again for the rest of the week, but it's coming. And I don't do well with the heat at all. I, I'm one of those people that melts. So, this is gonna be fun. You're gonna get to watch me just deconstruct over the course of however many episodes. It's like, oh, I'm just taking a three month break because nobody wants to sit here and watch the show while I have a fan running like directly into it. person over there fighting something? We're gonna name our horse. We paid a thousand gold for it. What you... What you shooting at? A fox? You can't hide from me. Here. Let me see if I can help you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> my kill. Keep the arrow. Bring you luck. You need it since you can't hit the broadside of a barn. Where am I at? Where am I going? Oh god, I got turned. Well, if I'm already here, I might as well mark this on the map. 
This is not going to be a playthrough where I ignore fast travel. I've done that in the past. No, no, no fast travel plane. That's when you've just got like, like a stream or something on, on the other monitor. Maybe you've got my show on the other monitor while you're doing something like that. And you just turn your brain off and go. That's not what you're here to watch. Start getting in, like, Inception-y. Start putting, making videos of me playing a game while watching a video of me playing a different game. What to say? Uh, horse friend. Are those skeletons? <laughs> Shit! Turn it over. Carry on. Help. First, a dragon attacks me. Now the dead are rising from the grave. It's a really bad week for me. That's better than my longbow. Oh, hell yeah. Read. Save those. They have a sell price. These technically say they have a value. But I'm always disappointed that you can't sell them for money. You can sell them for, I don't know, for fun. What are we naming our horse? I just got attacked by a bunch of stop-motion skeletons. Ash? We're naming our horse Ash. No idea what, what, what was going on with the collision detection there. Oh. Her mammoth buddy died. You gonna be okay, buddy? She's it. Go, Ash. Aha. <laughs> Fucking wolves, man. Ash, book it. Okay, so this is like the whole pack, right? I'm not gonna find out there's like 10 more of you up around the corner. Oh my god, were there more of them? That's it. Oh, nope. It's a rat. Dude, Ash. That was hardcore. Get some. Me and my horse gonna kick your ass. Boy. Come get some. Got it? I think my horse just ran off in a bloodlust. Did you get him? Good horse. Good Ash. Really wish that you could actually change the name in game. 
Anything interesting on my phone? No? Okay. I am recording, right? Okay, yeah. I am recording. I'd be really mad if I got to the end of this and be like, oh. Oh, I didn't record. I did that with a bit for the cheapest seat pilot. And I got to the end and I thought about setting everything back up to record this like one bit and then completely changed the bit so that I didn't have to. Oh my god with the wolves. Are you super serial right now? Uh, is there a reason why you're harassing this lady? What do you need? We're looking for information about a- We believe she may be hiding in Whiterun, but we're checking everywhere to be sure. Good day. Uh, she didn't seem to need intervention. She's just giving them shit, okay? I need somebody who's a lot smarter than me to sit down and tell me just how many wolves should I expect in an area the size of Skyrim? Because I feel like it's not the number of wolves in Skyrim. I feel like it's gotta be much less. Much less. Oh, no, I wanted to get rid of the blue mark. That's right. Let's get rid of you. Because I'm now on, like, the path out. Wait, was that a... Oh, it's a skeever. I was about to say, is that another god dang wolf? Nope, just a rodent of unusual size. And if you try to tell me that skeevers are meant to be anything other than just a reference to rodents of unusual size, you're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. Farther up and farther in, said the lion. I'm riding through the woods. I don't know what kind of group runs this fort. Blocking the major road down towards Riften. You should have. Oh, I thought it was a crab. I was gonna be very confused. It was a fern. But yeah, no, screw you for telling me I shouldn't have come here. You're the one blocking my road. Dink. 
What do we got here? Just some awkwardly shaped buildings. A, t a wooden tower, I guess, is kind of what it is. Just a tower. Man. Fuck, that trip was long and annoying. Nobody better give me shit. Hold there. What? Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Do what now? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? It matters because I'm going to stab you in the throat. I think you'd be a little smarter than that. Oh, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Motherfucker. Fuck with me. Unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. I'm cold blooded. Emotionally. Physiologically, I'm pretty sure I'm a war blooded race, because. Uh, just. That'd be the way this universe would roll. I had another run in with a thief's guild. Be careful, Mio. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? No, I'm looking for money. Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. I know. Who? The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? Honestly, could not care. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Then you're stupider than you look. You better watch your ass around here. It's okay. I'm really getting tired of your excuse. I've never seen me when you this borrowed the money. You said you'd pay it back the on city time really for double the usual fee. I know I did, but how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. Hey, buddy, that sucks. If I was playing any other character other than Randolph, the asshole Argonian, I'd help him. I don't him. have any business with you, so get out of But I, I'm playing an asshole, so... Spare a coin? Running a little light in the pockets, lad? Yeah. Your pockets. They're a little low on coin. I can tell. As the thieves Is it because of the way they plate in the front? Like it shows too much? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk. What they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. Okay. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Okay. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Okay. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, gather round. I have something amazing to you that demands your attention. This way, everyone, over here. Go ahead and drop a save here, because my character is not built for stealth, has not been practicing stealth, or pickpocketing, or lockpicking, for that matter. This way, everyone. Over here. Around, 
Hound Dog. Come on, pretty old. What is it this time? Patience, Branchet. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. Your character can't go prone. What you say? Uh. The job is to move the ring. Taking everything would be too a obvious. And it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you. Okay. Found my blood. Okay. Give his R. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste sure, of sure. time. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Damn straight, here dead. you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. What you mean? Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from, if you think you can handle it. I can handle a lot of things. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece. And we'll see if you really got what it takes. Okay. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. There we go. No. Oh, shit. No external point of ingress. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Just a big obvious like Argonian wanders and one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is... What do I got here? Where's all my... Did I use up all my spider poison? Damn it. You know, I know he gave me poison for fighting Frost Race later, but I think I'm gonna use that for this. And you will always be here until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, brother. Thank you for Thank your, you for your kindness. kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. I'm gonna say like I hid under the bed or something for a while. Even oh wait. No, that should be Man, it's one AM. She's just hanging out, walking around. Randolph's just lay, like hiding someplace in here, just like bored out of his mind. Uh. 
Oh, I said I wasn't gonna do sneak. Dang it. But Randolph really likes killing people. And this lets you kill people easier. <sighs> Fine. Where are these sneaking a shield? Don't recognize that number. Let's drop one of these. Nobody saw me actually do it. I just heard a noise from... I was out on the street, I heard a noise, I came in to see what it was. And then I chased a man out. Which what happened. Oh, I could go talk to Aventus, or I guess I could go talk to the dudes down in the sewer. You know what, let's, let's go check out this sewer group. We're here. Man. That's what happens when you're not fully paying attention to a jump, and you're just like, oh, I can make it. There's a barrel over here. Okay, so the other one doesn't show up until later. I think I'm gonna unequip the shield for the moment. I don't know, Drop. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far? We're living in a sewer. You said we'd have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about bashing people's heads in. I'll worry about the guild, okay? What was that? Okay, okay. Check out this level up, shall we? Another point stamina. I can sneak more. Do ah! Still not high enough to put another point into. Well, I guess it would be just putting another point into this. I guess this is a good point to ask the question. I guess one-handed weapons? Mirror swords, yeah. Because they are kind of weak for me right now. Especially in a situation like this where I need to cut this dude up. Oh, I like my dagger, but... now I'm sick with my dagger. brothers down there with a bow. I took them lightly. I forgot it's the beginning of the game. You know what we need to do? Cut them. Let's do this. Got my my dagger. 
not even gonna fuck around. I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far? We're living in a sewer. Someone there. Over here. Yeah. Don't remember what button I set. Oh, shoot. Help if I can remember what button I set uh, the power to. Shout power. F. Okay. That's actually kind of beefy. Take won't get away from me. dagger ah. slices. Ah. I'm just gonna use these as a meat shield and try and keep your brother from shooting me. Ah. Just bouncing off of his shield. Rip you in. Got him at, oh, that was a, like a throat chop with a shield. Oh, okay. Woo. Okay. That was a thing. Picked up some stuff there, though. Like a hunting bow, which is better than our longbow. Is it better than our ancient Nord bow? No, actually. Wow, okay. Anything good that we've picked up so far? Should I actually be looking at like this stuff as we pull it off people? Put on a ring, why not? Why not look nice? Oh, and need more stamina if we're gonna kill people this way. Sneaking with a shield may not be the smartest move, but it is a move allowed by the game. Also, I don't have backstab or anything right now, so there's no reason to avoid using one of these one-handed weapons. Oh, that's cute. No, I was looking at the thing. This is not the... Mm. Go ahead and piss off. There it is. And then... Uh, it didn't work out the way I expected, but... It did work out, so... If I picked up a torch... All of a sudden, I really need a torch. Where, where torch? Describe it everything at the moment. I'm not looting carefully or anything. Just go in full ham.
I'm the guy that shows up for my interview for the Thieves Guild, just with like everything from the frickin'. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, I killed him into a bear trap. Cool gloves. Don't mind if I do. Seriously, though. A torch would be super cool right now. I honestly didn't have the thought I should go buy a torch. I was like, no. I'll just stumble upon the motherfuckers. But I can't take that out of its metal bracket. Oh, there we go. As much as somebody's been going through there trapping everything. Head secret headsman grotto. Okay. actually looked around in town to figure out what that's above. Hi. Just a scratch. Stealing your stuff mid-fight. Yeah, come on, bring it. Yep. Okay, try again. Okay. Yep. Really give her. Come on. Yep. Oh, you're getting there. Yeah. Ooh, good. Oh. Yep. See, the problem was you stepped and you weren't ready. And I can understand. It happens to the best of them. You weren't one of those, but you you did you did step. And now, thanks to you thinking you could, I gotta lug all your crap with me. Hopefully, there, I can find somebody down here who wants to buy this shit. I mean, you were dressed like... I don't know. What do homeless people make fun of? Like, not... You weren't dressed like a homeless pe person. Homeless people are dressed for survival. You were dressed like... I don't know. Like what they would think is stupid? I don't know, like a smurf? I don't know. This joke got like way away from me and now I'm just curious about a lot of things. Creepy person sitting over there. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. <laughs> Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Hmm. That sounds like something we should do 
in the next episode of Morning Gaming. I've been Michael Green, the counter jockey. This has been Morning Gaming. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah!